going on guys Nate from Fence Racing Customs here I'm um, doing a small update on my Dale Earnhardt Sr. Uh, nine, uh, number 3 Lumina from the 1992 race series um, so I've got it <clears throat> primed up ready to go and um, I made myself some saw horses out of uh, just you can go down to Walmart and buy yourself like a I have a box of like I think it's like a thousand or something like that um, popsicle sticks for like five bucks or something like that so um, it, it's just one of those containers you can also buy at Walmart and this one's just a Sterilite you know it's just big enough for the car So I can keep at least 90% of the crap in the air off of it. Um, you'll notice that it's red. Um, I did paint the roll cage and the chassis, but, um, well, some of the roll cage and some of the chassis because I ran out of red paint. Um, testers sprays are just not, not friendly to me. So right now, in fact, I'm going to stop for here just a second and stop my timer there. And I've got my Model Masters right here and a bowl of piping hot water. But I like to, after about five minutes, stop, shake it up really good, make sure I get all this stuff going and hang on guys just a second okay I'm back so after I get done shaking it and put it back in the water now it likes to float so I've got uh, the Justice League holding it down and then what I usually do here is timer five minutes and start so here in five minutes I'll go back I'll I'll be done I'll dry it off really good because last thing you want is, you know, a bead of water, like getting into like the rim somehow and then spraying water with your paint because that makes for fun, fun times trying to get the paint job taken care of. So that's it for now. Um, and then after I get it painted gloss black, uh, I'll let it dry for probably a couple of days. Um, because it's not, um, it'll be thick enough where I could probably color sand it, um, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to, um, with doing it this way, it heats up and it, all the particles in there are really excited and it somehow creates kind of like more pressure. So it sprays finer and you can get a smoother paint job use, um, use a little bit less paint and it goes on you they usually it'll go on nice and flat and smooth so i don't since i started doing this heating up uh, my uh heating up my uh spray cans um i haven't really had to color sand i usually will get a nice nice coat of paint down um sometimes two or three um and then uh, I'll do the color sanding with my clear coats because then I don't have to worry about, you know, if I happen to run out of paint and I accidentally burn through the color, you know, then I have to go and buy a new can of paint, which I don't have right now. Um, I don't, I'm not really going to have time because um, days like this, I'm just kind of sitting around waiting for my kid to get back from her day camp. So, you know, I, I don't do a whole lot. You know, I'm kind of a boring guy. So I'll do stuff like this and, and instead of, you know, saying, oh, crap, this happened. Now I have to go out of town and try to risk not making it back in time to pick her up. Then, you know, I just I just do it this way. Don't have to worry about color sanding and then everything will be copacetic. Um, you guys will notice that, yes, I still have the brace in there. I have not cut it out yet. The car is going to be gloss black. You're really not going to see um, 
see that anyway. It's molded in black, so I didn't worry about it this time. Typically, yes. If it was molded in white and I was painting it black, then I would cut that out because you would see little white spots. But since it's already black, I'm going to leave it in like that. Um, also, um, I'm going to tape off the hood um, around the hooded area and underneath the hood is going to be um, more of a satin color and I think I'm going to do that on the inside too. Um, just to give it just a tad bit of contrast, I know that's not something that they would probably do in real life, but that's something that I'm going to do. So um, I'm just about done now, so which means I've wasted a lot too much of your time. So uh, I'm going to get this uh, painted and then um, I'll I should have another video posted up hopefully today if not I'll post it up in the next couple of days when I get another day off and I'll pull it out of the uh, the uh, case so anyways guys uh, this is Nate Banks Racing Customs and I'll see you in the next video